morning guys or good afternoon good evening whatever time you're watching this video i am all wrapped up and toasty and warm today because it is freezing and i'm not mad about it it's bright blue skies frost on the ground my perfect kind of weather so i have headed into city center today you may be able to tell by the hustle and the bustle around me um but i have come in just quickly this afternoon i want to pop into primark there's some like christmas luxury velour style pjs that i've seen them doing and i really want to get my hands on them and the trafford center one i've had a look they don't have them well at least i can't see them in there um so i thought i would try the city center one and i'm also coming in this afternoon i've got an appointment with tan Lux, which is one of my favorite tanning brands for i use their face drops the like pipette um face tanner that you pop in your moisturizer i love using that but i am completely bare today i have zero tan on i do have a little bit of minimal makeup which i have got a little bag with me with some loose clothes and um some makeup remover so that i can take off my makeup because i'm having a spray tan with them which is very exciting it's at the allen hotel let me say that again the allen hotel um which yeah looking forward to it's one of those things that i'm like oh, city center and i'm gonna be like walking around with baggy clothes and tan and no makeup and whatever um so depending on how i feel after that will depend on whether i maybe have a quick look around the christmas markets or not but whatever happens happens um but that is the plan so a first stop is going to be primark I'm going to show you some new in for city center primark which is always the best i feel like some of you might want to know where this gila is from it's one of the zara ones which is so cozy and they did have it in this sale as well i don't know if they still do but i'll leave it linked in case you wanted to check it out um but yeah that's the plan let's head on to primark first and foremost i'll show you any kind of it's going to be hectic because it's 2 p.m and christmas markets and everything on manchester is always so hectic near christmas no matter what day of the week it is it's a thursday today so i just feel like it's gonna be hectic in there it's gonna probably be a bit of a mess <laughs> things all over the show but any kind of like gifting ideas or things that i show you um within the vlog that i don't pick up and then anything that i do pick up i'll wait till i get back home to do a bit of a, a haul with you today um so yeah that's the plan now I need to find out where I need to pay for this parking. It's only two hours as well, so I'm going to have to be speedy in Primark and maybe move the car closer to where I'm having the spray tan afterwards. But yes, that is on today's agenda. Let's stop <laughs> procrastinating going into a busy city centre, which I really dislike. It just, the more I come into Manchester, the more I realise I feel like I'm a country girl. I do, I do like it when I'm here already and like, I'm already in the mix and but coming into town I always feel a bit like oh I don't know I just get a little bit anxious a little bit um out of my comfort zone countryside is my comfort zone I was walking um it was beautiful yesterday I went to Dunham Massey and the I need to go more because it's honestly so close to us and so beautiful but it was frosty you could see all the deer and I was just so zen that when I come to city centre I'm always like the opposite it's just I can't zen I can't chill out uh, but anyway it's a few hours that I'm here this afternoon so it's not for long anyway I'll be back back in the countryside before I know it but yeah let's head on in to Primark let's grab a basket and let's have a look and see what they've got. I'm already loving that cozy card again, 20 pounds. This one's marked, but how nice is that? I have a few of their basic tees. They're really nice and boxy fit and they're only five pounds. And I, I mean, look at that, that's two XS. And I would say that looks like a size eight. But anyway, um, yeah, this is a new color. I've not seen this one before. It's a really nice like mocha mushroomy kind of color. I'm very tempted for it. 42, so kind of on the steeper side to Primark, but really nice kind of like oversized pea coat, I would say, with this like Borg Sherpa in a liner, which just looks so cozy. Kind of looks like the liner of this one that I'm wearing today, but obviously just 
with sleeves for when it's really cold which would actually have come in handy today they have quite the selection of these like puffer gilets i really like this kind of um like thickly filled one if you see what i mean it is how much is this 25 uh what's the features lining polyester padding yes it's got padding within it extra padding compared to like those ones and then they've got longer ones as well in again that kind of like mushroomy color and the khaki these ones are 30 pounds they have these quilted jackets a bit like the barber style ones 25 pounds they've got them in this typical like barber green and brown and then also the black as well i think i prefer the khaki color let me just darken it a bit so you can see it better there we go yeah, really nice. Well, this is a bit of me. It's extra large, that one, but I feel like you'd need it really oversized. For like a super comfortable over jacket, 25 pound. So cozy, nice and long as well. Good for winter. Oh, I'm really tempted for this one. I'm like 50-50 on whether or not I need, well, definitely don't need it, but whether or not to pick it up. I can see some festive PJs and jumpers. They're not the ones I'm after, but they are cute nonetheless. I actually really like this one, the Coca-Cola one. 18 pounds, it's just like a sweatshirt. That could be like a good fun Christmas jumper that's actually not horrendous. And then you've got this one. <laughs> yeah, 10 pounds. Oh my God, they've even got it in the Primark blue as well. <gasps> oh, that's like more like a Christmas joke jumper. Well, each to their own, 16 pounds, but yeah. Christmas, that would be really funny actually. <laughs> so I'm seeing lots of sequins, good party wear. I really like this one. It's a bit more simple, but it's just got this like rhinestone strap. Hold on, let me zoom you in, there we go. I think Zara did one like this last year actually. 16 pounds, that one's like a mini dress, but you've also got the top version at 12 pounds. And we've got some more options here. You've got the little kind of sequin skirt and top combo little dress at 22 pounds i saw one very similar to this actually in mango the top version a bit like this one this one's 14 for the top and i did think about getting it i'm glad i didn't now because this is literally identical um and they've got it in gray as well oh i'm not sure what to wear i've got like a christmasy girls night out and i'm not sure whether to maybe get one of these so this is like some of the new Rita Ora bits. She's gone for a pop of red with that dress, the bag, and the little, what are these called? Like little bow accessories. And then she's gone for these silver boots, which I actually kind of love. But I feel like, how often would I realistically wear them? Probably not very often at all. So this is a little overview of more of the things from the Rita Ora range. It's quite cozy also spotted she's got quite a few metallics so she's got the dress the top and um, this like kind of mesh top as well but i do quite like these silvery jeans i don't think they've got my size unfortunately but they're 30 pounds wide leg can you see they've got a real nice shimmer to them but not too much i mean a lot of people would say that's probably too much but yeah that's a six and that's a 14 i could do with like a 10 or a 12 i reckon but never mind 40 pounds she's got this kind of like sage green coat that is quite heavy actually i'm gonna have a quick look at the primark edit which is usually like my favorite section very simple stripped back usually a bit better quality as well they've got this wool scarf at 12 pounds and it's nice and thick really like that and then they've got some basics this blazer is really nice, double-breasted blazer. Again, contains wool. They've actually got it as the full suit there, but the blazer is 38. And the trousers over here are 22. Oh, they've got some new jewelry in the Primark edit range as well. Some really nice things. Good like gifting as well, gifting options. I love these kind of like huggy style earrings. You get three pairs for eight pounds. I already have this scarf and I swear I've had it about three years. It's so cozy, really, really thick and only seven pounds. Although I'm pretty sure when I first bought it, it was only four, but still seven pounds is well worth it. And then they've got this um, green one as well, which is really nice. Yeah, again, seven pounds, oversized, super cozy. Cause I feel like this material could be really itchy, but it's not, it's super soft. Oh, they've got it in gray and this kind of like neutral pinky beige color 
and then this patterned one as well that one's eight pounds but yeah the rest of them are seven yeah all of the others are seven. Oh, and purple these knit kind of bib vests are always quite good they've got a couple of different designs those gray and beige cable knit ones then they've got these zipped ones but they're good for um if you just want to layer up like under a blazer or something so it looks like you've got a knit on as well eight pounds they are is that one eight pounds as well no these ones are ten pounds they have loads of the kind of uniqlo lululemon jute bags and i've got the which color have i got none of these actually i've got like a khaki green version um but they've got like some leather ones further down there um but yeah they're just so handy just a little crossbody bag seven pounds they've got this felt kind of fabric one eight pounds although i think that silver makes it look a bit cheaper i think i prefer these ones where can you see it's not a silver zip right i'm gonna head up to the home section now and see what they've got in oh Christmassy home bits and the PJs are up here as well. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll find the ones that I've been looking for online. But yeah, upstairs is like underwear, home. Oh, and they've got shoes and bags and, oh no, not bags, just shoes up here as well. We've already done the gifts for Tom's nieces, but one of them in particular, well, and me, <laughs> would absolutely love this hoodie, this like blanket hoodie. Harry Potter, how kind of Christmassy is that? Love that. And then they've also got some PJs over here, the Gryffindor ones, again, nice and festive. Although, I don't know if I'd wear those, or oh, they've got Slytherin too. But that hoodie, that blanket hoodie, oh, and they've got loads, look. Cheetos, Monsters, Inc. Oh my god, this is just like a land full of blanket hoodies up here. Um, they've got like an avocado one up there, cow print, clouds, chilies. Still no luck on the pajamas though. I have just come across the dressing gown version of the material that I was talking to you about. So cosy. How nice is this? Oh, I kind of like the dressing gown as well actually. But this is what I'm on the hunt for, the pajama version of this. They've got the caramel colour, the darker chocolate brown as well. So it's £20 for the row. I really want to find the PJs. They're like a shirted kind of pyjama. Oh, you'd think they'd be around here somewhere with these. So, so soft, guys. I can't even tell you how soft and thick it is as well. Then Tom's other niece would love this section, Barbie. How many of you used to watch this? This is one of my favorite TV shows growing up, Tom and Jerry. I loved Tom and Jerry so, so much. We've got some Disney bits, Garfield as well, Mickey Mouse. Who is this? Wish, oh, I've not seen the movie Wish before. Chip and Dale, oh my God, that's a throwback as well. Going to Disney World, having my photo taken with the Chip and Dale characters. Mom, if you're watching, do you remember that? I feel like I've got one of those autograph books somewhere with their autograph in. Oh, and Bambi. So nice. I love this one, actually. It's a really nice colour. They have these boots in. They're kind of like a felt outer and then this cosy faux fur inner. They say they're memory foam as well. And they are, let me see how much they are. They are £8, but they're actually reduced. Now just £5.50. Even got... Santa. Oh my god, look at these ones. I feel like Barney would go mental at my feet if I was to wear those in the house. Guys, I don't think I'm going to be able to get my dream PJs. They've only got these tops. I can't, find. that's literally all I can find. This handful of tops in this colour, which I would have got that colour anyway. Um, and I would get one of those tops, but just not without the matching bottoms. I might grab one now just to see if I can find any along the way, but. Um, having said that, just come across these. They're very similar to my Christmassy ones that I got last year from Gilly Hicks. How much are these? £12. I have just come across these. They've got loads of different um, plush pyjamas, they call them, in different colours and patterns. But this one is a bit like the M&S ones. I feel like teddies are everywhere for this Christmas. Um, and I think £12 actually for the set is pretty good. I think the M&S ones are about £35. The 
these are cute for table place settings. They're just like a little bubble. In fact, I'm pretty sure White Company did some similar to this. Um, four pounds they are. If they did, I'll put them on screen so you can see. And then they've got this kind of gray range with the snowflakes on. They've got the tablecloths at 12 pounds, which are basically like a neutral creamy color with the silver snowflakes. They've also got this tablecloth. This one's 10 pounds, but cheaper. I love these little napkins actually with the burgundy and the mistletoe. They are £1.50. I feel like I might grab, grab them. Every year I see these big gingerbread decorations and I'm getting tempted for them, but I just feel like Barney would rip it to shreds. <laughs> I think it was his toy. It's £14 for the small one and the big one actually. So yeah. Oh, I love that burgundy pillow. That one's only £9, that cushion little glass tree i was gonna say does it light up yay oh that's cute nine pounds i'm not gonna lie guys i feel like the shelves are looking pretty bare where all the christmas bits have been look there's loads of gaps and stuff i feel like people have just gone all out and just shopped all their christmas stuff already If you still love the kind of paper decorations that I know H&M did loads of, they've got this small standing tree at £2.50. Wow, that's cheap. And then they've got these larger ones, these stars. They are three euros, so I'm guessing three pounds. And then that large standing paper tree as well. Then they've got the White Company Jute Bell, four pounds. I got this one last year or the year before, I can't even remember now, but they do smaller ones than that from the white company. It's like little hanging decorations for your tree, but that's probably a bit too big. It'd be rude not to have a quick look at the pet section, the pet Christmassy section. They've got some festive toys, dog toys, um, £4.50 for that bigger one, which I feel like he would prefer. And then they've got these little rings. We've got cat toys as well. What else have they got? A little pooch pamper kit. I've already got these for Barney at three pounds. Just need to decide whether or not he's gonna wear red or green on Christmas day. And then what have we got over here? Same again, we've got little lead and collar set, like a kind of candy cane. And if you're a Grinch lover, they've got a whole Grinch section for the gifting kind of section. Also little mini Christmas baubles, all sorts of Grinch stuff. They've got little PJs as well, hot water bottles, and then a whole section for gift wrap. I like this one, but I do feel like I've got enough. Um, or do I just get it anyway? Because that's kind of my theme that I'm going for this year is golds and whites. But yeah, I think I've got enough. Um, although I could add in for a bit of variety for my other design. Hmm. I have also picked up like a Harry Potter one. So I picked that up for Tom's niece who likes Harry Potter. I had this one last year. Yeah, I feel like I might get that star one actually. How much is it? Three pounds. Although the Harry Potter one is one pound eighty. So much more affordable. Oh my God, I love this one. Why do I love this one so much? It's like a retro retro santa i love that this one is um yeah that one's only one pound thirty and just like that we are all done a few bags down although to be fair i don't know why she gave me three bags because i don't have too much um but i'll show you everything i get what got when i get home i think i'm just gonna go um before i head over to the tanning the tan lux appointment I think I might just go, um, oh, that sunshine, via Tom's office, because it's only around the corner. Just knock on and say hello to him. Because, um, yeah, I've got 10, 15 minutes before I need to go there, really. So I'll go say hello. I was going to pop to the markets, like I said, the Christmas markets, but we can do that another time. Because um, I haven't got time to do that, but I definitely have time. <sighs> To knock on and say hello to Tom, it was so busy in there. It just reminds me why I try and go, not Christmas time, but also the um, first thing in the morning is always quieter. It was just a nicer shopping experience when when you don't have to like queue for hours. Well, hours is a bit dramatic. It was probably closer to half an hour that I was queuing. Sorry, I'm like distracted. 
Where is the parking thing? Right, I'm gonna go say hello to Tom. Then go get my tan. And it's freezing, so the thought of like undressing to have a tan is just a bit foreign, but we're gonna do it. Okay, well that was a fail because Tom was in a meeting, which I thought was the case. I couldn't see him as I was walking past, so I thought that he's in a meeting and he was. Just came back to the car, so I thought I'd just quickly take off my makeup as soon as I've got five minutes. Yeah, it's only five minutes from here, so we should be all good. Um, this is so bizarre. <laughs> I'm just taking my makeup off in the middle of town. Um, they've said arrive in loose clothes, clothing and makeup free, which obviously is standard. Oh, nose is running because it's so cold. Standard for a fake tan, tan spray tan. Um, I'm not going to bother with like taking off my mascara or anything like that. I've got marks on my head. I'm leaving my hat this morning that I wore on the dog walk. I don't like taking my makeup off. Well, that's a lie. I love nothing more than taking my makeup off. But when I'm at home and I've walked through the door and it's always the first thing that I do. If I don't need to go out for the rest of the day, I'm straight into my comfy face and I'm makeup off, hair up. I feel like that will, that'll do. But yeah, I'm just using this little water in case you're interested. This is how I always just usually take the main bulk of my makeup off with some micellar water. The main bit is my neck, I don't want, I want to be able to tan my neck, so. We're all good. And we'll get over to the Allen Hotel, which is a lovely hotel, by the way, if you've ever been. It's like, um, I've been for dinner before in an evening and the decor and everything was lovely. Although I've only been there the once. So I need to figure out exactly how to get there. Right, let's get this back on. It's been keeping me nice and toasty and warm. Although the fluff is coming off a little bit on the... Oh, you just saw a bit fly then. Coming off a little bit. Not as horrendous as it could have been. I know sometimes these things shed like crazy. But um, yeah, on the black, it is shedding a little bit. But yeah, not too much. Nothing a lint roller can't deal with anyway. But we don't need to worry about lint roller. On route to a spray tan. So let's go. on my, my baggy of clothes. <laughs> I do feel like a walking marshmallow right now, but at least nice and toasty and warm. And as you may be able to tell, freshly glowy, but it was the, I think it was the Tan Lux mousse that we used in the spray gun so that it goes on clear, which is good because we can go to um, Tom's office, just see him, pop in, say hello see what we're gonna do for dinner and whatever but um yeah I'm not walking around thinking I am looking like I've just been to Barbados for three weeks even though it's been 10 minutes so um yeah really happy about that I do have um a little goodie bag they've got some offers on but by the time you're watching this they won't be relevant so I'll share that on my Instagram but um yeah we've got do you know what I was just thinking when I was coming here that I would love a new tote bag and this one was the one I had my eyes on. Someone even in Primark was saying, I really want the Adenola tote bag. We've got an Adenola tote bag. How nice is that? So yeah, that would have been perfect for today's appointment. Things like that or nights away or running to a yoga class or something like that. A little tote bag like that is perfect. So yeah, got that. What else have we got in here? Oh, this is so exciting. We've got a pair of socks love the adenola socks they are some of my fave and then we've got the express mousse the hydrating self mousse which is um i think what they use the clear mousse and what else have we got oh my god there's loads of stuff in here we've got the glow illuminating body oil i, I don't think i've tried this one before hmm that'll be new to me if not um this is my fave 
this is the one that was um i always use the face the tanning drops just pop a couple of drops in with your moisturizer and i probably would say i've got like a quarter left of my other one so that is very welcome i probably use it like once a week twice a week maybe and then we've got from color wow a high gloss finish pop and lock frizz control and uv hair protectant color wow products are really lovely as well oh my god there's so much in here they've jam packed it full oh cute i love the flat Lake company my makeup bag is from there and the previous one that i had as well actually because i love it that much it's one of those fold out ones that's really flat and you can see everything but this is their brush one so it's in the standing brush case and holder um and it's in this gorgeous leather print i've just seen what's in the box We've got a tan luxe mitt, the velour mitt. Um, really nice. Oh my god, this is they have spoiled us. Neon pillow mist. This is like Christmas, honestly, guys. Just like Christmas. We've got the reverse troll lift serum um from Cordley. I've not tried this serum from Cordley before. In fact, I've not tried many products from Cordley, and I hear such good things, so I will give that a go. Look. Jing. we have some ugg slippers my ugg slippers are the most tacky things that you will ever see so i've got a fresh new pair i am just gonna bin my other ones because you know when you wear them that much and they're so they're just your slippers so you can't part with them this is my excuse to part with them thank you so much to Tan Lux for gifting us these as well as all the other goodies what an absolute treat I'm so lucky and grateful to have these opportunities with these brands and get gifted such amazing things, honestly. Amazing. I'm, I'm really in the like giving spirit as well for Christmas. My friends and family are going to get spoiled this year. I've done a couple of giveaways. Stay tuned for more. I'm going to do a um, really wholesome giving back for Christmas video on Christmas Eve. On the 24th so stay tuned for that I'm probably going to run a nice chunky giveaway maybe even a few and do some charitable things and just you know as a bit of a gratitude towards this as my job and having these opportunities with these amazing brands i mean it, it's just a spray town i've been to but honestly guys these brands that work with us and gift us such gorgeous like products and opportunities and dinners and you know I sometimes get in my head about it all the time and I just get a bit panicked and worked up and I think then I have these moments that I'm just so incredibly grateful and yeah I want to give back to so yeah stay tuned for that video coming on Christmas Eve can I believe we're saying Christmas Eve already that's just crazy I need to just stop right now anyway I'm gonna get back I'll probably show you the Primark bits tomorrow or whenever I next get a chance to um because it's probably gonna be really dark by the time we get home it's already four o'clock so yeah it soon gets dark doesn't it by this time in fact I'm surprised it's not dark already probably because we've had a really sunny day today but that's my plan for the rest of this evening so I'll catch you guys probably in the morning can you hear Tom singing in there? Are you coming in, Barney, or are you staying out there? He wants to stay where? Where the food's being cooked. Hello, guys. It is a new day. We're having a cosy day today. We've actually got some friends coming over for... Oh, let me put this camera up. We have some friends coming over for a nice roast dinner. We're kind of doing a little bit of a mock Christmas day. Well, not exactly the same as Christmas Day, but, you know, similar to Christmas Day roast dinner so that we can have a bit of a practice run, basically. So that's on the agenda for today. I might even, depending on what time they get here, I might see if I can get round to writing some Christmas cards because I want to post some out this week um, or even today. We'll see how we go on time, but um, I thought I would just show you because I need to actually get into these bags, pop things away use some of this wrapping paper this afternoon so i thought i'm going to sit down share everything with you before before i put everything away so we've got a few bags full but most of them 
I've only got a couple of things in. I think it's because the wrapping paper she gave me quite a few bags. But I found some Harry Potter wrapping paper for, is it festive? It kind of is a little bit festive. It's got like some stars on and everything, but it's from obviously Primark. They were a bit beaten up, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it does say that there's an extra 15 centimeters added for protection, but obviously as you can tell, it needed it. <laughs> it's obviously quite a thin paper. So it was a pound 80 per roll. So I actually picked up three rolls. I mean, look at that. These were the best ones I could find as well. And then this one also, I think, yeah, this one was a pound 30. And I just loved it because of the kind of the retro, it's like a retro Santa kind of print on a brown gift wrap. And then last but not least, this was the most expensive at three pounds. I think it's just the design because it's so simple and classic white with gold stars like different star shapes on so very much matches the theme that i've gone for this year oh whilst i was at the checkout as well i grabbed i think i got two of these easy rip and go for gift wrapping it's just far easier a lot quicker so i picked up one of those two of those it's definitely a second one. there we go that's the second one and then what else did we get i got those joy napkins 24 napkins i might keep these out for today actually and then i've got these hand warmers i thought looked quite fun hand warmers aren't fun um nice they are basically just a plain cable knit uh like glove essentially but fingerless which i thought would be really handy for um like for horse riding for walking the dog or whatever just so that you've got like your hands covered but you still need your fingers out. It's £3.50. Oh yeah, I forgot I got this. So this is just like a, I think I had one like this similar in the past um, from Zara. Well, I still have it, but it's more of like a body. And I thought this is just a plain satin cowl neck top would be more ideal for if I'm wearing like high-waisted, um, my leather pants from Abercrombie or jeans. And the straps are adjustable as well. I got it in a size... 10 at nine pounds. I also got the dressing gown of dreams. I just really wish I had the matching pajamas. I need to keep my eyes peeled for them. If anyone has spotted them in Manchester Primark or Trafford Centre, let me know and I will run back to go grab them. But these um, came in the same kind of this lighter color, the caramel color and the chocolate brown, which I showed you in store. Uh, they're 20 pounds which i think is pretty good value they are so soft a little gift option as well that one i feel like a lot of ladies would love that and then oh i saw these on checkout someone had just dumped them so i grabbed them and they're basically like the Bottega dupes you know the amazon ones that everyone bought to dupe the Bottega, but these are primark three pound fifty bargains i used to wearing huggies that i rarely wear earrings like this anymore or like yeah with the butterfly clip but yeah pretty they're like big and bold without being too heavy or too much last but not least i picked up this cardigan which i already have in the camel color and i remember when i did that video because these have been out for a while now i remember saying i don't know why i didn't pick up the cream i regretted it I saw it in stock in my size um, because I sized up to a large, oh no, I got medium, sorry, medium, 15 pounds. And I saw it and I just thought, yeah, I really liked the caramel colored one, but I think I would get more use out of the cream. So I just grabbed it, I think for 15 pounds, really nice, cozy fabric. It's like a knit, but with a bit of fuzz to it. And that's everything that I got from Primark. So not the biggest selection of items, that I picked up today. I honestly thought that it would be better. I was a little bit disappointed. I think it's because we're approaching Christmas now. Town is just so busy at this time of the year with people getting their Christmas shopping in. But I feel like Primark, just people get in there early, don't they? Um, it's almost like I'm a bit late to the game. But they are the new bits that I spotted in, the bits that I picked up. My tan's looking lovely as well. Nice and bronzed from that tan look. So I decided to, I was gonna sleep in it. I ended up rinsing it off just before bed. And I'm actually glad I did because I woke up feeling really fresh in the morning, feeling like, you know, when you sleep in tan, it just feels a bit uncomfortable. But this, um, this one didn't need to 
pants down any longer i feel like if i had it at about 3 3 30 showered it off at about nine i would say that was the right amount so if you do get the express tan mousse from tan lux then that's how long i left it on for anyway i'm gonna start wrapping now i'm gonna get um tom's niece's gifts wrapped in this and then host our friends for a lovely wholesome sunday roast i'll get some clips actually because i feel like a lot of you like tom's tom's cooking tom's chefing abilities when i would say tom chef by the way or like chef tom or tom chefing away in the kitchen he's not actually a chef he just loves cooking so i let him there's no complaints let him crack on and i'll just do all the cleaning up got the cabbage on the go at the minute i'll take you through and show you actually let me show you now i'll take you through it's got the cabbage on the go and it's smelling fab oh have you been sat there well laid there outside the door did you want to come in he's wiped he went for a nice long walk this morning has always brick stein on in the background tom's massive beef Oops. That's the problem when you're cooking big. I'm not able to use all the oven for you. Cabbage on the go with apple in there, isn't there? That's already got apple in it. Wow, it colours it straight away, doesn't it? it smells good then. Uh, we're reverse what? Reverse searing. Searing. So you sear it at the end. <laughs> Presence, I still by the tree. 